Hello there you beautiful people. I hope you're safe and I hope that you're well. In this week's video, I would like us to explore the importance of having and maintaining healthy relationships in our life. As young people, it's so important that you find strong, stable and fulfilling relationships in your life because that will allow you to feel, hopefully, less lonely, less anxious, less isolated and will help your mental health. When I'm talking about relationships, I'm talking about having those connections with friends, family, a loved one, a romantic relationship, and with the wider community. And I have four top tips for you to carry on to maintain and build those strong relationships. My first tip is about the importance of making an effort. Now, I need you to always remember that a healthy relationship is, is kind of built upon. It's not necessarily always found and with that we mustn't take our relationships for granted even if you've had a friend or been in a relationship with a loved one for a long period of time we can't take those relationships for granted as you can imagine when we're busy it's so easy to take everybody or everything in our lives for granted but we mustn't because actually it's about making that effort and it's about being willing and accommodating to their needs it's about recognizing that you're different, you've got different needs. And it's about embracing that if you are different about having that individuality, but it is recognizing that you must make an effort and don't take one another for granted. And if you're somebody that's looking to make new friends, then that make an effort is also kind of put yourself out there where going to a new club after school, or it might be signing up to a youth club or something different but it's having to put yourself out of your comfort zone in order to meet new people. It might not necessarily be easy, but like I've said before, being brave, stepping outside your comfort zone is sometimes something that your future self will so thank you for. My second tip is about the importance of getting to know yourself. When it comes to having relationships with other people in our life, it's so easy to put other people first but actually what we need to do is we need to recognize and remember that the most important person in your life is you. And whilst I work as a school counselor, a family support worker, I'm a mum, a wife, a, a daughter, a sister, a best friend, the most important person that I really need to look after in my life out of all of those people is me and, and love me because Unless we're able to do that, we're not always going to find this sense of kind of belonging. And actually getting to know yourself is one of the most important things that you can do, certainly as, as, as young people, because not many adults can do it. And with that, the beauty about you getting to know yourself, knowing how it's best for you to communicate with other people, knowing how it's best for you to express yourself when you're feeling sad or lonely, is that when it does come to those relationships, you'll be able to communicate that a lot easier because you will know yourself. You will know when you are and you aren't okay. So yeah, make sure that you make that time to get to know yourself because it's really, really important. My third tip is about the importance of talk, listen and trust. To be able to listen means that we need to truly be present sometimes and actually in the busy world that we live in sometimes it's really hard to actually properly listen and be with somebody but when we have that ability to actually be able to talk to somebody about how we're feeling being able to listen to them be with them and trust them is so important but i need you to remember that you are going to have disagreements with those people in your life fact it's a fact and you're not always going to, to get along with one another but it's about recognizing that it's important to be there for one another and whilst having arguments and disagreements isn't necessarily great it is healthy providing that you're able to express how you're feeling both of you in a healthy way you've also got to bear in mind that everybody has an opinion Okay. The only thing is though, everybody thinks that their opinion is the right opinion. So sometimes in life you are going to have to say this, let's just agree to disagree. Okay, Because then you're respecting one another and you're being able to move on. 
But never underestimate the, the power of listening because it is something that really can help somebody. And it can also show your true ability to be there for your friends and family in those relationships by being truly present with them. And my last point is about the importance of setting and respecting boundaries. This isn't just when it comes to a romantic relationship because don't get me wrong, that's extremely important. And we'll do a video about that a different day. But actually, this is about the importance of when it comes to those relationships with your friends, your family, romantic relationship, it's about having a sense of respect for other people as well as yourself and having those boundaries. It's not always just to let people know what you don't like or don't want. It's about having that kind of ability for them to recognize what you do want in life and and if actually you've said that you fancy some silence and and want some quiet time then they respect that but it's also you know by having those boundaries that they'll know and recognize that okay I'll check in with them in the morning this is kind of what will allow you to find a sense of in your relationships if you can get this right and, and have those boundaries that you will feel loved and respected and trusted and valued and have that sense of safety And when it comes to other people, it's about recognizing that they have their own lives to live. And whilst it's great to be in control sometimes, we cannot control other people. So it's about having that respect for for our friends and family members and, and that romantic relationship as well, maybe, that you can trust them and they can trust you and you can let go of that control because we cannot control other people. No matter how hard you try, they are their own person and we just need to accept that. So there you have it, four top tips for you to make sure that you're in healthy, strong relationships and that they're not toxic. I will do a different video another week about consent in a relationship, a romantic relationship, because I think that's really important. But until then, make sure that you look after yourselves, stay awesome, and I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.